Okay, so this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Because I live down here on the Isle of Wight, the active island, it's a rural spot with lots of countryside around, lots of nature going down, lots of fields and loads of farmland. As a kite surfer, I've obviously spent most of my time hanging out on the coastline in the sea, kiting, chasing waves, things like that. But I've wanted to explore the possibilities of rural kite surfing for quite a long time. I've been casing out this lake just driven past and we're gonna see if I can kite surf it. Oh, look at this. How about that for a little freestyle spot in the middle of the countryside? This is looking definitely kiteable. <laughs> Caught in the act on my YouTube channel. countryside kite sesh we've got the rebel for this very gusty light wind caused by all the trees around here my high mate extreme and uh, i'm gonna use the small click bar today even on the 15 meter because it's such a fast kite than you Okay, so it's not as windy as I'd hoped, but I'm hoping once the kite's up in the air, this is going to deliver what I need to get going in this tiny expanse of water. Ready? Hot launch it. Get on. There we go. Sure.
Give up. So that was countryside tide boarding. Not really enough wind and got to watch out for the bushes and stuff. But uh, I think I'm going to revisit this spot. Come here when it's a little, uh, little windier because it's definitely got potential for sure. Having said that, I wouldn't advise trying it at home especially not with your brand new 2021 14 meter rebel there's quite a lot of prickles in these fields fresh water is surprisingly cold too anyway until next time on caught in the act on my youtube channel <laughs> Prickles everywhere. Hey. <sighs> well, we tried. I think we have to come back when there's more wind, but the spot definitely has potential. That's for sure. If you trim those bushes.